The Great Barrier Reef is under threat from climate change. Climate change warms ocean waters and heat waves on top of this gradual warming results in mass bleaching. Mass bleaching significantly impacts coral health and can result in mortality if intense or prolonged. Reef restoration and adaptation are proposed tools to help corals adapt and respond to climate change. Here at the Australian Institute of Marine Science, we're addressing critical knowledge gaps to understand how corals are responding to temperature stress. The first step in our research program is to understand how corals vary in their temperature tolerance and how this plays out across the reef and in the context of rates of warming and the heat anomalies that we're experiencing. Once we understand the mechanisms that underpin heat tolerance, we can work on enhancing this trait from generation to generation. So our primary objective is to increase the thermal tolerance of corals. Um, the way we do this is by focusing on coral symbionts. So corals are animals that have symbiotic algae that live inside their tissues. So you can think of these as sort of the solar cells of corals. So the sunlight comes down, the corals and the algae capture it together. But the thing is that the symbionts can actually define the upper thermal limit of corals. And so we are focusing on improving the tolerance of the symbionts. Um, so we can grow the symbionts in the lab, we grow them for many years at elevated temperatures, and we supply those symbionts back to the coral. And then the idea is that, is the thermal tolerance we've been able to give the algae in the lab, conferring thermal tolerance to the coral here. Addressing critical knowledge gaps in the heat tolerance and evolution of corals support both existing and novel management actions. This will help protect and enhance the recovery and adaptation of reefs to the impacts of climate change.